you might have observed that when you solve a linear programming problem, you often end up with an optimal solution that is an extreme point of the feasible region. The result that we are going to look at next specifies when exactly that can happen. Let P be a pointer polyhedron in Rn. Let C be an n-tuple. Let LP denote this linear programming problem, minimizing C transpose x subject to x from the polyhedron P. The result states that if LP has an optimal solution, then LP has an optimal solution that is an extreme point of P. Clearly, if P is not a point of polyhedron, we cannot have optimal solutions that are extreme points. For example, if you look at this linear programming problem, minimizing x1 plus x2 subject to x1 plus x2 at least 1, then this problem has infinitely many optimal solutions, and none is an extreme point. So let's look at a proof of this. Assume that P is given as follows. Let x star be an optimal solution with as many active inequalities from ax squared and go to b as possible. In other words, there is no other optimal solution with more active inequalities than x star. And we are going to take a prime x greater than or to b prime consists of all the active inequalities at x star. Now remember that if the rank of this matrix A prime is equal to n, then x star is an extreme point. And in this case, we are done. So we assume that the rank of A prime is less than n. That means that the null space of A prime contains a non-zero vector. And we'll take D to be such a vector. Notice that for a sufficiently small epsilon greater than zero, the points x star plus epsilon times d and x star minus epsilon times d are in p. The reason is because a prime times x star plus or minus epsilon times d is the same as a prime x star, and that's equal to b prime. And for the rest of the inequalities from ax equal to b, x star satisfy them strictly, so as long as epsilon is small enough, those inequalities will be satisfied by these two points. Because x star is optimal, what we can say is c transpose x star plus epsilon times d is at least c transpose x star. The objective function value cannot be less than the optimal value. Same thing for x star minus epsilon d. And simplifying these, we get epsilon c transpose d is at least 0. And minus epsilon c transpose d is also greater than or 0. And combining these two, we see that C transpose D has to be zero. It's not difficult to show that if P is pointed, then P does not contain any line. But X star is in P, so there exists a non-zero lambda such that X star plus lambda times D is not in P. And we may assume that lambda is positive because if that's not the case we can replace d by its negation so let's look at a picture of what's happening here so say this is my x star is active at some constraints and the vector d could look like this so the line that we are looking at is this and at some point on this line in the direction of d there will be a point that is not in P. What that means is we must have some inequality that looks like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to find a value for lambda such that we are the point of the line that exits the polyhedron P. In other words, in this picture, we'll be looking at this point here. So we're going to let lambda prime greater than zero be the maximum value such that x star plus lambda prime times d is in p. So for any value bigger than lambda prime will be out of p. Now call this point x prime. So first of all, all the inequalities active at x star will continue to be active at x prime, but 
this purple inequality here will also be active at x prime, but it is not active at x star. But what is the objective function value of this? Well, it's the same as c transpose x star because c transpose d is zero. Therefore, x prime is an optimal solution as well. And that's a contradiction because we have chosen x star to be an optimal solution with the largest number of active inequalities possible. But we have found another optimal solution with at least one more active inequality. That means that the assumption here is false. And so x star must be an extreme point. And that proves the theorem.